Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Today I'm starting my carnivore day off with three over easy eggs, two slices of thick cut bacon, and my big jug of electrolyte water. As you can see in this plate here, uh, the bacon, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it is the thick cut bacon, which is the one that I prefer most. I believe this is uh, Smithfield, 60 calories per slice, and I have three whole eggs. This is the electrolyte powder that I use. A lot of you ask on the daily which one it is. This is by Dr. Berg. Uh, he has his own website, or you can find this on Amazon, but this is the only electrolyte powder on the market with 1,000 milligrams of potassium. Potassium is the one electrolyte most people when they follow keto or carnivore have a really hard time achieving. So this supplement with combined with all of the other ingredients, as you can see, makes your day go by with no headache, no fatigue. You just feel really good on it. Here's what the powder looks like, and it's a tiny little scooper. So all you need is one scoop a day, and I fill my jug up with ice and water, and I put this in, and I mix it up. And this is how I start my carnivore day on most days. Um, sometimes I start early in the morning, sometimes I don't. So this is just how it rolls. weather look at the sky oh my gosh it's so nice I'm gonna try to get some sunshine haven't showered yet um, in my little sundress here out on my porch got the dogs with me got my big thing of electrolytes and I'm getting me some Sun <laughs> anyway I'm gonna talk to you uh, more about carnivore and what happened during the week when I started back on Optavia, it was great for the first two or three days and then all hell broke loose. Um, lots of GI discomfort, lots of diarrhea, TMI, I know, uh, just feeling lousy. And so um, did some more diving into um, why I switched back from carnivore to Optavia and why I keep doing that over and over and over one thing to the next thing to the next thing um my therapist basically just said that it's just an addiction um like anyone with any kind of addiction if you're a smoker you can go 30 days without it and then something triggers you and you do it again and you're in that cycle um a shopaholic you can go 30 days without shopping and then something triggers you and such so for me through our discussion, I was I was missing the protein shakes. I was missing certain fuelings. I don't know if it was ritual, the taste, the icy cold, what have you, um, but my therapist made me pack up all of the Optavia fuelings that I had in my house. I'm sorry, I'm squinting, the sun is in my face. Um, bag it up and throw it away. Um, just like we would normally tell a new client, go through your pantry, get rid of all the sugar and the cookies and get it out of the house. So I did it. <laughs> I got rid of every last fueling. There's none. And for the last few days, I've been back on carnivore and I feel so good. Ah, and I'm losing weight still. Like it's crazy. Um, the four days that I was on Optavia as well, I lost one pound and then it crept back up. It's so bizarre. I am eating over 2,000 calories on carnivore, plenty of salt and good electrolytes and good healthy fats, and the inches in the weight come off. So I have to stick with this. I cannot be a food addict. I cannot bounce around. I know, you know, some of you are frustrated with me. Sorry. It's just, you know, this is the life of someone who truly has food issues and addictions. And, you know, at least I'm not addicted to heroin or anything like that. I don't drink alcohol, really. I don't smoke cigarettes. Um, my nemesis is diets. That's my nemesis. So on carnivore, excuse me, a car is passing by. 
on carnivore, we don't, we don't count. We don't count calories. We don't count macros. We just eat till we're comfortably full. That's it. There's no max. There's nothing. You can eat until you're, you can graze all day if you want. I've been, you know, stopping my day the last couple days uh, by between 5.30 and 6 and I don't eat again sometimes until 11, 12 the next day. And I feel good. So that's what's going on. And for those of you who are confused or as you say, you can't keep up with me, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I'm not sorry. This is who I am and I've never said that I was gonna be anybody else on this channel. I could be like some people and pretend they're doing something or not, but no, I just tell you how it is. So um, keep in mind that I have been working on myself, if you're new to this channel, with therapists and my physicians, and I continue to do so. And that's about it. Someone's gonna walk by now and my dogs are gonna go nuts. Hey guys, all right, so it is the next meal time and this will be the final meal of the day. We're gonna make a Greek bowl. So I'm gonna turn around the camera and show you the ingredients. So simple and so, so good. All right, so in this Ziploc bag here, I have 80, 20 ground beef and I had packed this yesterday and I made it, I made it very thin so that when I cook it, it is basically like these really thin burgers. I'm gonna take a pizza cutter and I'm gonna cut it like this. So we have a bunch of little flat burgers. We're gonna be using just a little bit of feta crumbles and some manzilla olives. Some good salt from Redmond's, some pepper, some garlic and onion. And we're gonna throw this in the skillet and get it ready to go. guys here's the fun part we are going to assemble this greek goddess keto carnivore bowl so as you can see i poured in the feta cheese at the bottom of the bowl the curds are nice and large this will help give some extra sodium for out throughout the day uh, because i don't want to have anything else to eat for the rest of the night so uh sodium is very important on keto carnivore Adding in about four or five olives, not only for taste, but also for some good sodium. And then I'm gonna top this baby with the burger. Here we go, we've got one burger and I decided to actually put in one more. Two of these together on the food scale, if you're weighing them out, is really about five ounces. Uh, and they were so juicy, look at that, oh my gosh. The hot ground beef on top of that feta cheese makes the feta melt so good it's so creamy and so delicious i would love for you guys to try this recipe and tell me what you think you see how easy this is guys delicious all right guys so that's how i make my little greek bowl a little bit of feta a couple of olives two little hamburger patties and that's my meal so breakfast was the eggs and bacon this is dinner polar seltzer, which I love. I'm going to go enjoy this meal. And after we eat, I'm going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit more. Whew. All right. Well, <laughs> in from the heat. It's hot. It is hot. I'm laying down. I just chugged a huge thing of water and I have the air and the ceiling fan on and it just feels so good. So I'm not going to move. <laughs> I'm going to rest for a little while. But anyway, that was today. That is and was before um, 
you know, my little week long GI scenario. Um, that's how I eat. It's just plain and simple. It's literally just bacon, eggs, meat, like hamburger, steak, fish, shrimp, I guess is a, a seafood. Um, I'm not a big pork fan unless it's like ham or bacon, but uh, pork chops, I guess. Um, haven't really done a lot of chicken. Um, and every now and then I might crave a veggie and incorporate it. But um, today, the only veggie I had were the olives. But regardless, I'm excited to be back. I know. I, I'm back on something all the time, right? I'm going to stick forward with this because this is what makes me feel good. Um, last week when I mentioned that it wasn't sustainable, that's because I was completely foregoing the veggies. So now that I will be incorporating them in when I feel like it, um, I'm not so... I'm not, I'm not going to feel so restricted, but you know, that's the way it is. So anyway, that's today's video. Tomorrow is Monday. I am going on a five mile walk for work. It's a fundraiser. Uh, so I don't have to go into the office. Um, tomorrow will be the appraisal for the house. Then we have the inspection coming up and then closing in just a few weeks. Ah, hopefully by the end of June, that's our goal. And will be moving in and like I said in a previous video I will be taking you guys through it all through packing through shopping through decorating through everything so um, that's something you're into then there's gonna be a ton of new content headed your way and of course I'll keep you updated and show you what I'm eating on carnivore and telling you how I feel and weekly weigh-ins maybe I don't know I I don't know you got to let me know if that's something you want to see all right, guys, I hope you have a great night. Happy Sunday. I'm going to go rest for a little while and enjoy the rest of my night. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.